Hey everyone, it's Actuary Dude over here with another fun filled question. So let's have a look. The force of interest delta t at time t is given by all of this. Calculate the accumulated value at time t equals 12 of a continuous payment stream of 100 pounds per annum payable from time t equals 0 to time t equals 6. Okay, so for this question, I've taken the liberty of preparing a few things, um, which I don't normally do. So this is v of t, which is, I guess, the um, discount rate um, over here. Uh, the continuous discount rate, um, and I found it in between these times, which is essentially the, um, which is e to the negative integral of delta t, um, and I found the uh, some sort of accumulation factor, which is e to the um, int to the power of the positive integral of delta t. So um, there, I, I can definitely do a video if you guys want. If you just post a comment saying how do I get to this, I will certainly make a video if there is a request for it. So um, I guess, uh, how, how do we find the, um, the answer to this question? So to find the accumulated value at time t equals 12, we've first got to bring these payment stream back to um, some kind of time that we know of, like present value, time now, t equals zero. And then we'll multiply it by some sort of accumulation factor, which we'll then work out over here. And we'll sub in 12 years, so it'll be a of 12 in this case. So um, let's start with the first thing is just to find the present value. Let's see how we do that. So to find the present value, we just need to have the integral between the time period that the payments are coming in. Now normally we say like rho of t times v of t, but in this case we don't need that because um, we have, we've we got a constant going on. Even though it says continuous payment stream over here, doesn't really matter the 100 uh, pounds, that's a constant. So we can actually take that out of the integral. Then we're going to multiply it by v of t, and in this case v of t for the... Um, for the range between 0 and 6, it is e to the negative 0.06t, and that's dt over there. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to take the 100 out. Um, so, well, actually, I won't rewrite this, and let's just find the integral now for this bit. How do we find the integral of this? Well, it is the whole function divided by the derivative of this top part over here. And so what is that? So I'll just multiply that. That is e to the negative 0.06t divided by negative 0.06, still between 6 and 0. And of course, that is the present value equals all of that. Okay, so um, what's the next step over here? Well, the next thing we've got to do is we just got to sub in the values. But um, we can actually take out this because it doesn't need to be there. So we can say 100 divided by negative 0.06 and now we can multiply that by when we sub in the 6 and the 0. So that's going to be e to the negative 0 0.36 when we do 0 0.06 times 6 minus sub in e to the power of 0, you know, because that's all uh, negative 0 0.06 times 0 is 0, minus 1, and that's what it equals. Um, then we can rearrange this a bit. So we can actually bring a negative outside there, which will make this whole thing positive and just um, switch the order of this, so e to the negative that. So it's going to be 100 divided by 0 0.06 multiplied by 1 minus e to the negative 0.36. And that's going to equal the present value, which is in pounds, which is, let's use Excel to find out what that is. So that is e, I'll put it in brackets, 100 divided by 0 0.06 multiplied by 1 minus the exponential of negative 0.36. Okay, and what do we get? 503.87 pounds. 503.87. Okay, good start. Now what we have to do is, that since we've found the present value, is um, accumulate this over 12 time periods. So we're going to find the present value multiplied by A of 12, that thing that we'd found earlier. So let's go up here and find out that we have A of T. What is a of 12 equal to. All we have to do is sub in 12 anywhere we see a t over here. So I'll just use my trusty Excel and figure that one out. So that is equal to the exponential of 0 0.0002 times 12 to the power of 3, um, like that, all divided by 3, so that's that bit, and plus 0 0.05 times 12 and then plus 0 0.0456. Okay, that looks promising. What do we get? So 
So it seems to be a factor of 2.1 whatever. And now let's find out this will be our answer. It equals the present value multiplied by our accumulation factor, which is 1,078.28 pounds. So we actually don't need this bit because we've used Excel. 1,078.28 pounds is the answer. That's what happens when you accumulate 100 pounds continuously per annum payable between time 0 to 6 with this force of interest going on at time 12, um, accumulated to time 12. All right, thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions about this or didn't quite catch anything or, um, I don't know, just don't like the sound of my voice, then say so. See you later.